Ariel Hawani in New York City for the UFC on Fox 3 press conference alongside Josh Koscheck who meets Johnny Hendricks live on Fox on May 5th. And uh, Josh, good to see you again. Thank you for the time. Thoughts? This time again. Green now, huh? Right. This is green, right? No, no, those down there. Nice outfit. It's good. But you're you're learning. It's cool. Oh, you like it? Yeah, it's better. Wow. Better than last time. And nice of you to dress up here. Yeah, you're not wearing sweatpants. Uh, yeah, I know. Sweats are cool. Yeah. You know? I guess you got your swag back after you beat uh, Mike Pierce. Yeah. A little is that bit what you swag. needed? Nah, not really. No. Um, I've always had swag, so it's all good. Yeah. But the fans like you here in New York. Are you surprised by that? Yeah, they're crazy. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, so your fans are crazy. Probably, you know, a lot of New Yorkers definitely could possibly be my fans. Mm. Now, um, let's clear something up before we talk about Johnny. You sort of dropped that bombshell on us after the Mike Pierce fight that you were leaving, AKA starting your. You sort of hinted at this leading up to the Pierce fight, but uh, you had very strong words for your now former coach, Javier Mendez. How long had this been? For the record, he was never my coach. So, um, you know, he tagged along here and there, but uh, I think that uh, I'm in a better place now. And, uh, you know, my dethroned base camp, Fresno gyms are, you know, are they're rocking right now and uh, we're rolling. So um, I think that, uh, you know, uh, Bob Cook will always be the man, you know, um, over there. And uh, Bob Cook comes and trains with, with me a couple times a week in Fresno when he can. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it's good to be around real coaches that, uh, you know, care and real coaches that put time in and real coaches that will put the effort um, to, uh, you know, make your fighter the best that they can possibly be. And I have that now. And I think that, uh, I think that, uh, May 5th, you guys are going to get to see that. So even in your early days at AKA, have you never worked with you? Uh, of course, work with me, but I mean, you know, did I learn anything? Yeah, you know, it is what it is. You know, I, I'm done with that chapter of my life and I prefer not to talk about it. I prefer to talk about dethrone base camp Fresno. You know, that's, that's where it's happening right now. Uh, you know, I got a lot of good guys over there training right now and, uh, you know, a lot of guys coming in and out, you know, that uh, they just come in for a couple of weeks and then they roll out and they come back. So. Um, man, it's 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 a good good time to be uh, you know be on your own and and uh, and doing what you got to do. One final thing on that, and then we'll look ahead. You said at the press conference that uh, for the first time in three years, you have someone holding mitts for you. Okay. So do you feel as though maybe if you made this change earlier, you would be champion? You would be in a better place in your career. Well, I think that uh, you know. I, I think the reason why everybody's so successful at that gym, you know, over there in uh, San Jose is, is because of the training partners. You know, I mean, it's, uh, I, I really truly believe that, the, you know, the training partners is why uh, guys have fought for world titles, you know, and, and guys have been UFC champion like Kane um, because of the training partners. And I think that that's, that's the, the number one reason. And I think that if you add coaching, um, real coaching, that you know, uh, I, I think that you you would have seen a lot more champions out of the, out of the, that gym. And uh, I think that uh, now, um, you know, in my career, I think that we're going to see uh, you know big and big improvements really quick. Um, I've learned, you know, I've been working with the, my new boxing coach and, you know, obviously Jasper, my Muay Thai coach, and uh, I've I've made huge huge improvements, and and I can't wait to May 5th to, to show. Will any of those guys from AKA now come to your new gym and help you prepare for this? Uh, if, if they're smart, they'll come and get real coaching, you know. Uh, I, I think that that's, uh, it, you know, they, they should. So, I mean, that's up to them. The door's always open to those guys. Um, you know, I, I, I prefer never to step foot in the city of San Jose ever again. Uh, who are unless, the coaches? Unless I open up my, one of my dethroned base camp gyms there. So Maybe which, next door. Which... Yeah, there's a good chance of that, you know. Um, yeah, I got a, a good partner that's uh, looking uh, for a lot of areas uh, to open up more and more gyms. So, um, you know, maybe maybe that's the case. Maybe that's the only way I go back to San Jose. Who are the coaches at Dethrone? Um, you know, the, you can look on uh, DethroneBaseCampFresno.com or DethroneFresno.com and check that out. You know, there's there's a lot of good guys involved. Um, you know, and, and it's only going to continue to grow. You know, I, I got Alan Freed, amazing wrestler at uh, Oklahoma State. You know, he's one of the best wrestlers probably ever in the history of the sport of wrestling. You know, and uh, yeah, he's he's just he's a phenomenal guy, and he's been he's been running most of the workouts and you know structuring everything. So uh, you know, it's 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 good. I'm in a good place. You feel as though you have uh, sort of the weight of the world lifted off your shoulders now because you don't have to worry about whatever was going on there, and now you're sort of running your own thing as you prepare for this fight? 
Yeah, I, I'm not running my own thing. You know, I hired people to run it for me. I think it would be a mistake if I, I went out and said, "Oh, I know, I'm, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm the best at coaching. I'm this. I'm gonna train this way." I, I don't want that. I have a, a structure that we meet. We meet every Sunday and we go over the whole week and uh, you know determine what we're gonna do that week and and that's what we focus on. So I have a whole a whole group of guys that you know that that meet up. You know, so me and Alan, we sit down and we talk about it and and we go over what we're gonna do for that week and. Uh, yeah, man, it's uh, it's it's good there. It's it's a good atmosphere, and I definitely have, uh, you know, a lot to prove because you know everybody's gonna is looking at me like, okay, he left. Now what what's he gonna do? Is he gonna be successful or is he gonna fail? And uh, I can guarantee you that uh, in my life, you know, I put my mind to something, I, I I can usually get it accomplished. You know, it may take me a couple of times to do it, but I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna find a way to be successful. Um, you know, in Fresno at my D throne gym. Were you shocked when Johnny Hendricks knocked out John Fitch the way he did? <laughs> um, shocked? Yeah, definitely. You know, I I think that uh, you know Fitch made a mistake in that fight, and uh, you know, and it cost him. So it kind of sucks. You know, it sucks because to see a, a friend you know go out like that, and uh, I think that uh, you know I won't make that mistake. That's for sure. I I I uh, I. I I studied that tape a little bit, and uh, you know, I got, like I said, I got good coaching, and uh, I think that uh, you know the coach is going to put together a great game plan, and uh, I believe that John Hendricks says he wants to stand toe to toe and have a good fight. He full, he's going to get hit one time. He's going, he he may go to sleep, or he, you know, he's going to he's going to be like, oh man, that hurt. I'm going to start wrestling, you know. So I think he's full. And I think that he, you know, he, he doesn't have the stand up and the skills that I have. And, you know, I'm going to prove it May 5th. And, uh, you know, a lot of fights, yeah, of course, you know, they say, look at Josh Koscheck. Oh, he talked, he talked this. And, you know, and then he got beat up by GSP. But that's then, you know, I think that, that now I have coaching that, uh, you know, uh, move my head, move my feet, and, uh, and uh, use the footwork. And a lot of good things going on. Uh, finally, uh, you know, right now we've got a bit of a log jam at 170 in the UFC with Carlos Condit as interim champ. GSP is out. Were you almost happy that Condit won, that there's another champion out there? Because it seems like as long as GSP is the champ, it's going to be hard to get that third fight against him. Yeah, I don't really care about that right now. You know, uh, to be honest with you, I'm in a great place, you know, in a lot of areas in life. And, uh, you know, um, I got five fights left on my new contract I just signed. And, uh, I'll fight whoever they put in front of me, and you know, there's a couple of new guys that are coming up. They're they're pretty tough kids, and you know, so I, I got to show that the old man still here in this division, you know, can uh, still win fights, and I'm gonna prove that May 5th when I'm fighting this young guy, Johnny Hendricks. By the way, this is my town, so if you want to go shopping, if you need a few pointers. Maybe later we can meet up. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I might actually head over to the Lugs headquarters if you want to roll oh, with me. Wow. You know, hook you up. We won't be. You'll be rocking uh, real shoes instead of those green ones. Nice plug for your sponsor, by the way. Yeah, cool. All right. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you.